I know what you guys are thinking. I could really go for some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles news for San Diego Comic-Con. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and yeah, here I am again. I've got more TMNT exclusive news to discuss because boy, as we're getting closer and closer to San Diego Comic-Con, it's like everybody's just breaking out all of these exclusive announcements and these early reveals and all kinds of stuff. So we've already talked about NECA Toys with their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set based on the original movie with Shredder and the Foot Soldiers and Splinter. We've talked about Super 7's exclusive reaction figure set. We've talked about DC Collectibles revealing their new TMNT vs. Batman toy line. Well, of course, Playmates Toys couldn't be left out, and they also have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive action figure. This one, it's an interesting one, and I, I've already seen conversations about it. I can, I can already see the comment section on this video. I'm visualizing it right now. So you guys ready for this? This is the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder. That is right, my friends. Ever since Rise of the TMNT started, there was speculation that Shredder was going to show up somewhere. While Baron Draxum has been like the main villain for the new series, uh, we always knew that Shredder was gonna show up at some point. Well, it looks like that we get a full reveal of Shredder with this action figure right here. So this figure is gonna be sold at the Nickelodeon booth and the press release, which originally came out on IGN's website, says celebrate rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the six inch action figure, which features a ball joint articulated head, glowing red eyes, slide joint neck articulation, waist articulation, ball joint articulated shoulders, as well as articulation at the hips, knees, and ankles. The cost of this shredder will be $30. Uh, he also looks like he's got translucent body parts, like his torso, arms and legs appear to be translucent. Um, very, very interesting take on the Shredder. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say exactly what I thought as soon as I saw it. And it's really funny because I know what I, saw, I thought as soon as I saw it, and then I've seen everybody else having the same thought. That straight up looks like Megatron. <laughs> like the Bayformers Megatron, or at least a Bayformers Decepticon of some sort, right? I know you guys see it, and if you didn't see it before, you definitely see it now. There's definitely some Bayformers vibes going on with this version of Shredder. Um, so if you're at all interested in why Shredder looks this way, I went ahead and looked it up. Um, if you're not following Rise of the Ninja Turtles, uh, the animated series, here's kind of a, a description that I got from Turtlepedia online. You can just do a search for that on the Googles. And it says this on the, under the history for Shredder. 500 years ago, the Shredder was a madman who wore a mystic armor called, I hope I can say this right, the Kuroi Uroi. <laughs> that is totally wrong, I know it. Uh, which swallowed his soul. He terrorized Japan with the Foot Clan until he was defeated by Splinter's ancestors. His exact fate is unknown. But in the episode, The Shadow of Evil, it's revealed that the Foot Lieutenant and the Foot Brute have enlisted Baron Draxum to find the pieces of the armor. As part of the chess piece was placed with the armor, a brief glimpse of Shredder's face was seen. So obviously in the new series, the Foot are trying to resurrect Shredder, or at least this spirit of Shredder, uh, by putting his armor back together. So it definitely is a different take on Shredder. He's very crazy looking. Um, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. Um, you know, I, 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 it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, but that's out there for any of you guys who are fans of the series. It looks like that will be available at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, like I said, $30 price point uh, available at the Nickelodeon booth. I do not know if they're planning to sell that online afterwards, but if history repeats itself with Playmates, most likely there is going to be a retail release of Shredder as well. He will probably just be different from that version. Uh, maybe he won't have the glowing red eyes or maybe he won't have the translucent body. That's my guess. Because usually when they release a a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, the exact same figure comes out to retail later on, just with different paint deco. For example, a few years ago, they released a Shredder figure with the chrome armor, and then the exact same figure hit stores, but the armor wasn't chrome. So I think it's very possible that this figure will also hit retail at some point, just slightly different. 
In addition to that, uh, there's one other uh, official announcement for Turtles with Playmates Toys that I wanted to talk about. Um, they're celebrating the 35th anniversary of Ninja Turtles this year, which is crazy. 35 years, that's amazing. Uh, but one of the things that they are doing to celebrate is they're releasing an exclusive TMNT 4-pack that commemorates the original black and white comic book designs. Um, so they're all based on the original Mirage uh, comic art. Um, they've got black and white crazy looking paint deco with red bandanas. Um, and then the box set also includes a version of the first 1984 TMNT comic book with an exclusive cover penned by co-creator Kevin Eastman. Um, they released images of the box set last week, and then just today when I'm recording this, announced that this will be a Walmart exclusive coming soon, but they did not release a price point or an exact date of release. Um, along with this set, there's also been images of a similar box set with like the four original Turtles like re-released again, so I guess we can expect that coming at some point as well. Um, this is really interesting. I gotta say, I love the packaging. The box art is really, really cool. Um, I've had a lot of people point this out to me and uh, be really excited about it, and that's awesome. And a lot of people have been asking if I've seen these new figures and everything. I do feel it important to point out that these figures have been released before. Um, these are the exact same comic figures that Playmates released four years ago, I think at this point, uh, but they were painted, they were green with the red bandanas. And then they did release one of those figures, I think just the Raphael in the black and white colors as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Um, plus they came out individually uh, with a package of the comic book as well. So these sculpts have already been released two, sometimes three times. So this is gonna be the third or fourth time for these releases. They just now have this new black and white paint deco with the red bandanas. So um, I, I reviewed them when they originally came out. If you want to see what the sculpts actually look like, you can check out that video. Otherwise, I'll make sure I try to keep you guys posted. Just follow me on social media. If I find out release date for this set or if I run into it at the store, I'll make sure I let everybody know. So there you guys go. Some more TMNT news, this time from Playmates Toys. Guys, don't forget to subscribe because Comic-Con's coming up in such a short amount of time and I'm gonna be there. I'll be interviewing people. I'll be shooting footage from the show and you guys don't wanna miss out on all of the exciting toy news. Until next time, my friends.